Hi, I'm Dr. Laura Roberts. I'm a state vet epidemiologist with the Western Cape Department of Agriculture in the program Veterinary Services. All our recent strains of highly pathogenic avian influenza seem to have originated in Eurasia, near Russia, and they travel across the globe with wild birds. And we have evidence they've moved down through Africa to South Africa with these wild birds, and that that's how they've got into our commercial poultry farms. But once they are in a commercial poultry farm, they can also spread to another farm through infected birds or, or contaminated equipment or people. The most important thing farmers can do to protect their poultry is to make sure that nothing that has contacted another infected bird comes in contact with their healthy poultry. So that's everything from a wild bird and its feces or feathers to contaminated equipment or people or anything else from another infected farm. So in terms of wild birds, at the very least, there needs to be no food or water lying around that will attract wild birds. The first thing anybody who suspects a case or an outbreak of highly pathogenic avian influenza should do is to contact the local responsible state vet. That vet will then advise on what testing needs to be done and what measures should be taken. Unfortunately, in commercial poultry farms in South Africa, the only tool in our toolbox is culling the infected birds as quickly as possible and safely disposing of the carcasses. The aim is to do this before too much virus is produced and before the virus spreads to another part of the farm. The risk that a person will catch avian influenza from a bird is very, very low, but we still want to take all necessary precautions. So any person dealing with a dead bird or a bird that they know is infected should wear a mask, like a COVID mask, gloves and goggles. And this is particularly important for farm workers who are culling chickens.